this is just a brief video about uh, finding a range of values for a quadratic inequality and using a graph. So first of all, if we're going to given a quadratic like this one here, then in order to solve, we're going to have to factorise. So we need to have 0 on the right hand side, so let's bring across the 2x so that we end up with x squared minus 2x minus 3 is greater than 0. So now we have in this form here, we shall see if it will factorise into the two brackets, not forgetting it's still greater than 0, and use whichever method uh, you're comfortable with to work out that this factorises to x minus 3 and x plus 1. So what we need to do is if to be draw this, do a quick sketch onto a graph because we're looking to see where this function on the left hand side, so our function in x is going to be greater than 0 and we'll have a look at this on the next page. So here we've got the axes and just to draw a quick sketch then we have the parabola going through the key points here so we've got the y-intercept at negative 3 and it's crossing the x-axis at negative 1 and 3. Now the f, the function of x from the previous page we had was greater than 0. So that means that we need to inspect this to see where is this line greater than 0. Well we have our 0 on the x-axis and the curve greater than 0 above the x-axis is to the right hand side of this line and to the left hand side of this line. So that means the range of values that satisfy that inequality are going to be from 3 and less than negative 1. And because our inequality symbol is greater than 0, therefore the inequalities that satisfy this are going to be x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than 3. So those are the range of values that satisfy our original inequality. If, for example, we had that the original inequality, so the function of x was less than 0, so in other words, between these points again, but with it being less than 0, this time our curve is underneath and therefore we need to know that it's this range from negative 1 to positive 3 and therefore we can write out the range so that x is greater than negative 1 but less than 3.